What's up guys, Kevin here with Texas Veteran Power Outdoors. So, I want to open up a gift box I got from Jay at Jay's Crazy Cuts from him and his wife in Louisiana. I'm going to leave a link to their YouTube channel in the description below. So definitely check those guys out. They're in Louisiana. Uh, that state is known for phenomenal food. And uh, they do have some videos up on their channel. Uh, they've been real busy, so they haven't had a chance to put a whole lot up there. But... <clears throat> He does have a video he just put up uh, of installing a kind of a DIY uh, boom sprayer on a zero turn mower for one of his bigger properties, multiple acre properties. So that's pretty interesting. So I would definitely check that out. Uh, I think you guys could save some money installing something like that. So let's get on with what he sent us. So uh, what he sent him and his wife, they went to GIE this year, which I didn't get a chance to go. So I had no idea he was going to send uh, some things. So uh, I'm pretty honored to have received these things. I had no clue what was in the box when I got it. And when I opened it up, I'm like, dude, this is just awesome. So I was blown away uh, by his kindness of him and his wife. So <clears throat> I don't have my tripod with me, so the phone is just sitting on the bench here. So I'm going to show you guys what we got in the box. So the first thing we got is this little note here. Uh, and it says, hey, I'm pretty sure you didn't get, uh, didn't make it to the GIE, so I just wanted to give out a few things. Uh, we picked up, thanks for commenting often on our videos. We appreciate all the kind words. Jay's Crazy Cuts LLC. That is really nice, guys. Really, excuse me, really nice. Okay, so we got a couple of hats here. We got, uh, Yarbra, uh, I guess it's just Bravo. I don't know, is the Y silent? I'm not really sure. I know they make some mowers, um, but anyway, so that's a nice hat, a uh, little Velcro uh, adjustment on the back. This one here is, uh, I got to read it backwards, is uh, Echo, okay, I can't read backwards. Oh yeah, the Echo uh, PV8010, that's their new blower they got. It's like a 1,071 CFM, something like that. I mean, it's just like crazy. So uh, that's on there. This is a nice hat, real lightweight, uh, something good to wear in summer. Uh, let's see here. We got a bag in here. I'll tell you what, we'll leave that last one in there for last. So we got a cool back here, a bag here, and it says, uh, uh, Multi One, uh, Multi One US, US. A lot of these companies I've never heard of, but hey, I'm a nobody, you know, I don't, I don't get around much. So you could be a company that's been around for 60, 80 years, and I probably wouldn't even know. All right, so we got some stuff inside Sheffield. Now, Sheffield is this little squishy ball. Um, Sheffield is one of the lenders, financing lenders, uh, that you're going to find at different, um, uh, there's a phone number there, at different uh, lawn dealers for equipment. Sheffield, uh, Serenity, I think is one. Uh, I may have said that wrong. You got Yard Cards, another one. Um, I couldn't get approved at any one of those, but I had no problem getting approved at Kubota Credit. And since then, which has been, you know, two and a half, three years now, I've bought, you know, five mowers from uh, uh, finance through uh, Kubota Credit. So I just go to Kubota dealership and buy whatever mower I want, you know, Ferris, Skag, Kubota, whatever, and I get finance. So anyways, uh, so here's a pop sockets. So this goes on your phone. So this is cool. So it looks like it kind of peels, sticks on the back. And I've been seeing a lot of these people putting them on their phone and they just kind of hold them there, two fingers, while they're doing their thing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so it looks like uh, you could pop it on and off. So that's kind of neat. Uh, here we got mechanic in a bottle. So uh, this is an ethanol shield. So this is revitalized uh, stale fuel, cleans carb, no removal, uh, fixed pour, non running engines. So uh, all two and four cycle uh, engines, raises octane, removes water, helps fix ethanol issues, cleans carbon, varnish, reconditions rubber, and plastic parts. That's pretty neat. So it has uh, an ounce indicator here, so just follow the direction, so I appreciate that. We've got some decals here. Some Tecron small engine decals there, a little zero turn mower. That's kind of cool. Uh, so it's Tecron with a small engine uh, fuel system treatment. Uh, so that's pretty nice. I need to get me something I could put a bunch of stickers on. Uh, oh, here we go. Fram. Fram oil filters. Now let me tell I do know, I do know about Fram. Fram's been around a long time. 
Now, these guys, it's a koozie, by the way. I don't have any beer. I didn't drink it all. My wife drank it all. But anyways, uh, a Fram, back in the day, I don't know if they still do, but back in the day, <clears throat> Fram, if you used uh, their filter, and I, I don't know if they had oil or two, I'm not sure, but for the filter, I know for sure. Uh, if, you ran, if you did an oil change in your car, truck, or whatever, and if the engine blew, and you could prove that it was because the filter was uh, defective or didn't do what it was supposed to do or whatever, they would pay you a million bucks. I don't know if they ever had any payout, but anyways, I just remember that advertisement a long time ago. So that's Fram. You can buy in Fram at all major auto parts places, including Walmart and online. NGK. Now, NGK makes spark plugs. Well, oh, yeah, it says that, spark plugs. Uh, they make for a lot of things. They make a lot of two-cycle stuff. They're an Echo they're in um, steel. They're in, I mean, just all kinds of power equipment. They even make them for uh, race cars. And so NGK is a big, big brand. That's a little decal there. All right, here is a mechanic in a bottle. So it looks like it's from the other company as well. And this is a two-in-one gasoline quality check. A uh, test, sorry, test. So test freshness, um, if it's bad gas, marginal decaying gas, no water, water. Uh, for both standard and two cycle mixed fuels, test for oxidized stale fuel, test for water and fuel, keeps bad fuel out of your equipment. So that's pretty cool. Contains three swabs. So you take these swabs, you follow the instructions on the back here, and then you just go from there. That's really neat. Uh, the way I look at it is if you're going through fuel fast enough and fuel's not really sitting around, you should need one of these. I mean, I've, I've been in business three years and I've never, I've never had issues with fuel. With ethanol, with not, with nothing, nothing. So I don't know why. Uh, I know some people have problems, but I, well, we haven't. So that's pretty awesome, though. Here we go. Here's another decal. These are cool, man. My mower is kicking grass and taking lawns. I like that. Uh, this is art advertising labels and decals. So this is a company that does uh, uh, labels and decals. So as you can see right there, um, I don't know if it does it come in pretty clear there you go should be okay so that's a decal there so that's really nice I like that uh, here we go here's some red armor hand scrub hmm now uh, I'm not sure how this hand scrub is this is the first I've ever heard of hand scrub from these guys so I'm interested in trying this out but here's some echo red armor hand scrub and it's made in the USA which is awesome uh, uh, probably up there Lake Zurich Illinois which I will be going there tomorrow by the way I'll be at Echo for the next couple of days. Um, so when I get back, I'll be sure to tell you guys all about it. Um, I went up there last year, too. So this is hand scrub. Tough on. Uh, tough on. Oh, the rest is like French and some other word. Tough on grease, sap, and gasoline. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Uh, here's another decal. COP tool. I don't know what that is, but it's a decal. It's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Here's another decal here. OPT. Uh, tool. I like that. Never heard of them. Uh, of course, NGK spark plugs. Here's another one here. We got uh, Lumen. Lumen. There's a little D ring, carabiner, some people call them. Now, for the last thing, and I saw on people's YouTube channel when they went to GIE this year and they had what I'm about to show you, which is in that box right there. And I wanted one. I wanted to work and I buy one. I wanted to buy one. I don't care if it was $56. I want to buy one because I'm a big fan of Oregon. Ooh, I slipped. Okay, check this out. Look at this, dude. Oregon. This is the Oregon Gator Speed Load Trimmer Head. And you guys know I'm into trimmer heads and trimmer lines. I got a box. Let me show you something. This box right here. Ready? Look at this box right here. See this box? That's filled with trimmer lines, trimmer heads. Uh, all kinds of stuff in there because I experiment and I try new things and I try combinations of things and uh, to just experiment and then pass on the, what I have learned anyways uh, so this is a 24 dash 500 it's a five inch uh, trimmer head this thing is huge uh, 20 second reload time now the echo speed feed was super duper fast, but it's not 20 second fast. Uh, so I haven't opened this out of the box yet. Uh, so here on the back, 
it has uh, you know some universal parts here. And I do know Oregon, Red Max, and a couple other brands, um, Shakespeare, and some other brands will bolt up to Husqvarna and I believe Echo because I think Echo and Husqvarna use the same threaded bolt that comes down from the shaft or from the gearbox or whatever that is down there. Uh, where and that's it that's the same thread count the thread count on steel is a little different so that's why I won't bolt up right away but you can buy kits to be able to get around it so let's take this out because this is the coolest thing in the box and thank you so much Jay's crazy cut and I tell you what you guys better go check out his channel uh, because you know you don't find that many people these days that just on their own you know they go out of town and you know, they spent their money to go up to GIE and and then to think in their mind, hey, you know, let's gather some of these things. And I know from reading the comments from Jay, he sent some other folks, you know, a cool package too like this. So, I mean, there's not that many people out there left that does that on their own, you know, just to be nice. And uh, that's pretty awesome. So definitely check his channel out, support him, subscribe. And uh, uh, I see every single one of the videos that pop up. And whenever he comments on mine, I comment right back. Uh, you know, that's how you get to know people um, is by doing things like that and, and sharing, you know, conversation and and knowledge about different things. And, you know, it's just, it's, you know, you just get to know people. Okay, this thing is a beast. You know, it reminds me of a hockey puck and like a little bouncing Betty in Vietnam. A little landmine, anti-personal landmine. You just, Step on it, shoots up, blows you up. That's only from the movies, you know. I wasn't in Vietnam or anything. I'm too young for that. I'm just saying from the Chuck Norris movies. So uh, I don't know how this works. Um, this is all new to me, so I'll have to read the instructions because this is pretty heavy duty. I mean, look, you got these metal things right there. Um, I don't even know how to open this. Um, oh. Ooh. Okay. So it looks like you could buy the spool and throw it in there. And I think that's what it was saying. That's probably why. Yeah. See right here. That's why it's a 20 second reload. So you buy the spool. And I don't know how. It holds 23 feet. Which is about the same amount that you put on when you do it by hand anyways. Depending on the thickness of wire. So this is .095 which is what I use. Uh, so I'm anxious to try this. So, you know, we got different uh, bolts here to, to fit on there. So, I'm excited to try all this stuff. Uh, and and I, I don't know what to tell you, Jay, other than, man, I appreciate everything for you and your wife, from you and your wife. Uh, very nice of you guys to have sent this stuff to me, you know, and I, I had no clue that, uh, you know, you guys were going to send anything. And, uh, that's just incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, well, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, I'll leave them in the comment section down below. If you haven't been to the channel before, uh, I want to thank you for, for coming out. Uh, this is just a, a different video than what we normally do. And uh, definitely think about subscribing. We're putting up videos all the time. Um, we're, I guess this is a good time for me to tell you guys. We're at 860 subscribers now. And if you remember, just a couple months ago, like two, two and a half, three months ago, we were... We were just barely, not even 300 subscribers. I've had the channel since last year. And I didn't really start putting effort into it until, well, about a month and a half ago. And so I started doing different things, started learning, started this and that, you know, started watching the the YouTube creator videos and, you know, just changed some stuff up. I really was putting forth effort. Uh, just last month alone, uh, in the last 30 days, we grew like uh, 70, or uh, is, uh, last 30 days? No, the last seven days, we grew 68 uh, subscribers. In the last 30 days, it was like 262 subscribers. It was a ridiculous amount. Uh, it might have been more than that. But um, I look at stats all the time, so the numbers kind of all run together. But what I'm saying is once we reach 1,000 subscribers, which we're at 860 now, that's 140 left, we're having a giveaway. So I'm buying um, a really nice tool, a power tool of some kind. I don't know what kind yet because I have to think about, you know, I'm going to have to ship it too. So I don't need, I can't like buy an auger or anything like that. But uh, so 
If you want, in the section down below, leave some ideas of what you think would be a great tool giveaway, um, you know, for, for you. Uh, I'd like to hear some of the comments and some of the ideas you guys might have. I want to try to stay around, I don't know, $50, $60. I might, you know what, up to $100. Just go up to $100. So uh, you could do a lot with that. Now, we're at 138, 139,000 views. When we get to a million views, then, you know, I'm going to be spending a few hundred dollars. And it could be like, you know, some awesome string trimmer. You know, it could be a blower. It could be, uh, you know, you know, I'm the one that has to pay for all these things. So, like some channels, you know, they get stuff that's, you know, given to them to donate and things. But I haven't made it that far yet. So, um, anyways, uh, so leave leave what uh, some of those ideas down below, and uh, that might be something I can do. So, because uh, you know, I got to pay for the shipping too. So, if it's fifty dollar product and it costs me twenty five dollar make uh, to ship it, that's seventy five bucks. Anyways, guys, check out Jay's Crazy Cuts. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. I'm Kevin with Texas Power Outdoors. I appreciate you watching and, and uh, making it through this little short video. Be sure to check out the last video we just posted. Uh, we did some, um, it was our first commercial property that we've had. And uh, we had some little bit of drone footage. Uh, I think there's a train in there, which is kind of cool. And then an overgrown ditch that we're going to be knocking down pretty soon with the SRM 3020. We're going to be using the trimmer line and the uh, brush cutter blade for that ditch. That's coming up soon. We'll see you guys later. Have a good evening.